went to Europe in, in 2005 with my son. And it's, it was very, very encouraging because I had this hat and I also had my American Legion hat. And whenever anybody in France, especially in Normandy, and Belgium and Luxembourg saw me, they all had the same comment. We thank you for our freedom. Just the most wonderful words you could ever hear. Yes. Battle of the Bones, the coldest day I could ever remember. I suffered severe frostbite. I was just at a hospital. At that time, they were amputating the limbs. But a German doctor who was assisting, helping the wounded veteran, came up with a solution. And we soaked our limbs in. Thank God, he cleared it completely so he saved both my limbs. A week before, I was shooting at him, and now he saved my leg. On the fourth day that they strafed us, uh, we were in the valley and there were woods on both sides, so I took a, a run and I escaped. So I spent uh, uh, four or five days in the, in the woods, traveling at uh, night and hiding in the woods during the day. And after five days, General Patton took a town named Jesper, Germany. And when he took that town, I went in and uh, the uh, people surrendered. They had to put sheets out of the windows so they didn't keep bombing us. Out of the holy chest, there was a number of our soldiers that was captured the day after the Battle of the Bulge. I think it started on the 16th, on the 17th, the Germans lined them up and shot them all. Before I went in, before I went into service, I claimed for the Yankee, the Yankee organization, baseball. I come back, I went, I, went, I went back to baseball for two years. Then packed it in, I got married. And uh, then I uh, went to work at the Journal American. I was in the composing room as a proofreader, uh, supervising the composing room. I worked there for 25, 25 years. These events are beautiful, they're great. I'm glad they do that because Maybe the younger people today could, we hope the younger people could realize what went on then, but it would, it would educate them some. We have about eight or nine vets on Staten Island left to battle the bows. We have many vets, but nothing to battle the bows. We started out with 50, there's maybe 10 of us left.